Hello, my name is the old mechanic and today we're gonna have a look at our helmets. Um, we got them a while ago and there is one really annoying thing about the Schubert C5 guys. Because my wife and I have the same size helmet. And because my settings for my Bluetooth intercom are different than my wife's her Bluetooth intercom, I did something on my helm so I know which is mine. I think it's nice. I'm going to show you. I have this BMW logo over here. Just a small one. And uh, over here. And over there, I'm gonna show you. Watch. See? And over here. Nice, huh? I like it. I'm gonna put my wife's helmet out of the way for a moment. There are some uh, dead animals. It had a really annoying thing, and that is, I love to drive the bike uh, with my divisor wide open like this and then when you're on the highway it depends on the, the swirl of the wind in front of you from cars, trucks, whatever mm, it's in between 70 and 90 kilometers an hour my visor suddenly shuts Really, really annoying. When I want my visor closed, I'm man enough to do it myself. I don't need Schubert to decide that for me. So, I already made the modification on my helmet. But for this video, I'm going to show you what I did about it. It has all to do with a mechanism to hold the visor in a certain position. Now guys, I would say come on over and we start. The first thing I did was to figure out what was wrong with the uh, ratchet thing. So first I'm going to take the visor off. That's very easy. There is a small lever over here. And it goes really nasty. Yes. Like this. And you can take it off. Now, guys. What seems to be the problem? Over there. Is that ratchet system there and there and in between this this tiny thing and this tiny thing the visor is here we got the visor and watch over there and over there there is this yeah also ratchet tooth thing and that needs to be clamped in between this one so actually this one is too high it needs to go in just a fraction deeper to get a better holding of that ratchet click 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 you know so we're gonna get that out and I'm show you what I did to it. There is a tiny bolt in here and it's Torx 10. And we're gonna be careful you do this on your own. I'm not responsible for you ruin your helmet. Just unscrew this one. And there is some blue Loctite 
and onto it. See? Wait a minute. A blue Loctite. And now we can take out this one. Oh, there it is. And this is the problem. That tiny thing. But it is easy to solve. Now guys, what I did, this thing is like this in the helmet and it needs to go in a tiny bit deeper. So it turns out that this uh, edge is too high together with those yeah, tooth over here. So what I did, I took a bit of sandpaper, 240, and carefully got a tiny bit off. I did it in four steps each time. In between, I mounted this thing and the visor again because you don't want to get too much away. But then, guys, over there, hopefully you can see it here. Kijk there. You have to take a little bit away from there. And you can't do that with a drill. And I show you why. As a drill is pointy. See? And it needs to be horizontal, flat. So, I took my milling bits and I took mill 8. See, this is mill 8. But the hole is 8.5. But with 8, and you do it like this. Carefully. Hold it in place and turn it around and also around in that hole. So you take a tiny bit away. Not much. I think I got away maybe a tenth of a mil. I guess. Not sure. And then it goes in just a tiny bit deeper. Wait a minute. Also, be careful. As this one has an R from the right side and it needs to be just on that edge. See, there is an R and there is this stupid lever, which, see, Schubert, sometimes. Yeah. We have to get that. Okay. But guys, first press that on. Take the screw. Yeah. I don't use any new uh, Loctite because this still is on the onto the screw it. Nicely in. I already feel that Loctite. And now comes the tricky part. Do it. This is tight. And then carefully feel. Okay, that's enough. And then you have to do that on the other side too. And check if your visor stays in place better. If not, do the same thing. Get those uh, pointy edges, sand it tiny bit away. One, two, three, four is, is enough. Take your end mill, scrape a tiny bit away again and try it again until it stays nicely in place. Now for this guy, uh, it's terrible gonna take a bit of here 
doesn't stay in place. Schubert, this whole thing goes up and down. I take a small bakje, put a bit of silicon spray, and then I'm gonna see. Oh, put a bit of silicon. Actually, very the same here. It's a bit better, but let's see, just for fun. This is my wife's helmet, and mine. See, this clicks that last. Perfectly in place. Easy. Not easy. Nah, easy. And mine didn't do that. I had almost to smack it down to get that last lock. And that's this fucking piece. So what I did, I have silicon grease. And you have to put a tiny bit of silicon grease over here on that notch. What is it? Yeah, there. So, whoop, whoop, whoop. So, not too much. Well, that is too much, but okay. And on the other side, do exactly the same. On that thing. Okay, now we're going to see if my modification worked. First, okay, I'll put this one, let's see, like this. it in. Okay, slide it down. This is nicely, this is also good, back in place. And now guys, watch. This is much better. Before, unfortunately, I didn't sh make a video of it, but when you smack the helm a little bit like this, a little bit firmly, the visor shuts down. And now, watch, and see, it easily closes, click, perfect.